Yo, what is up? If you guys want to promote your music on the channel, hit me up on Instagram, and I'll make sure your music is promoted on the channel. So, check it out. And now, on to the video. Yo, 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 what is up? Gang, Caleb here, back in another video. Today, we're talking about Death Race for Love. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Juice World's newest album. Now, before you do anything else, make sure you check out my last couple of videos from this week. I had a total of five videos I did. You know, it's a rare week for me. I've been trying to grind out all week, and I hope to do it again next week. So, let's get it. So, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I don't really know too much about this album because, you know, Juice World, we know he works with a lot of artists, but we don't know what's going to be on the album or what's not going to be on the album. But we're really going to just talk about what we know and what we expect from this album. Now, currently, the album is sitting at 22 songs which is crazy bro like most people that can listen to the album are probably gonna be picky about where they listen to songs you know because albums is linked most people don't sit around and listen to the whole thing like i would they probably go back and forth i personally think 16 is a good number he had a perfect number for his last album hopefully this means that some of these like songs are like how they were in uh goodbye good riddance because like he had parts of the intro outro skit you know have parts like that that'd be fine now i really hope this isn't like drake's album he had last year where he had songs that you didn't even care about like you pick and choose what songs you actually liked and he came back to it now let's talk about the cover of the album so the cover of the album is juice world on there and he's trying to play nostalgia with our feelings and bring back the ps1 memories because he's a 90s baby like i am like even though i was really like a 90s baby that played more ps2 than ps1 i still have memories of ps1 it's just that good also this is supposed to be a reference to twisted metal which was a game that had weapons strapped on top of vehicles which was pretty cool now there was one person that had a problem with him actually releasing this cover you know he goes by the name of pierre Bourne. But I'm just kidding, you guys know who that is. But let's read what he recently had on his Instagram. Y'all gonna take my album cover too? Say less. Now let's take what Pierre had as a cover for an album, you know. Let's compare it to Juice World's cover. Now one's trash and one's actually pretty good. Now if we gonna be honest, bro, Pierre should never be near the mic, bro. He should never be near the mic. Like I hate that producers are trying to be rappers now. They you can't do both. Certain talented people are able to do it. Like Travis Scott, he was a producer before he's a rapper. So that may be work, but no, not Pierre. Not Pierre. Pierre can't rap. Ronnie J cannot rap. So half of these producers can't rap. So I don't know why they're trying to act like they can. Anyways, I just want to say that like Juice is not really depressed anymore. You know, going into a goodbye Gorillas, I think he was single, right? And now he's not single. He has a girlfriend. So it's just funny that he comes out with the album after the fact that he's got a girlfriend. It's funny, but I believe that alone because I'm still probably going to enjoy the album like many of you probably will. Hopefully we get a couple banger songs out of this. And I know it's not going to be his only project of the year. So he's probably going to have another project with Ski Mask, the evil twin thing, and maybe Yachty. So that'll probably be it for him after that. But that'll be it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And I'll see the rest of you guys later. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I see you sitting there. Let me ask you, how do you feel about Trippy Red? Okay, okay, okay. How do you feel about Travis Scott? Okay, okay. How do you feel about Playboy Cardi? You know what? How do you feel about Lil Uzi? Like, these are one of the best in the game. Okay, so if you like all these, this is probably the channel for you. As well as some of your favorite artists. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. I'll wait.